Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be a good idea to go through my Trading212 portfolio and to show you where I'm at with Trading212. So I did make a video back in the summer about Trading212 and free trade and I decided to start using them so I could do some investing outside of Vanguard and get into more individual stocks and shares as well as ETFs and index funds. So I'm gonna tell you how I've progressed and I'm gonna focus on trading 212 uh, if you're interested I could do a free trade update on that but it's just gonna be about trading 212 today and how I've been getting along and also one what I want to call major stupid mistake that I made um, that maybe you can learn from that um, we'll talk about as I go through my portfolio. With investing, I like to keep it as simple as I humanly can. At some point, I will start building a portfolio based off of some companies that I really want to invest directly in, but I do focus a lot more on ETFs. Let's go into my portfolio. The first thing I want to have a look at is my iShares Core S&P 500 ETF that I'm invested in. What happened was that I had some money sitting inside um, my trading 212 account and I was like I just it doesn't make sense it's just sitting there so I decided to just put it in S&P 500 until I figured out what I was going to do with it because it was depreciating money is depreciating and we don't like inflation so I was like let me just put it in the S&P 500 until I figure out what I want to do with it if I wanted to invest it in a different ETF or an individual company so it's sitting in there it's 108 pounds and three pence that's the value right now um and it's up three percent with £3.31, which isn't a crazy amount. Like, that's pretty low. I'd say for all my investments, this is the lowest performing one out of everything I've ever held. <laughs> so it's it's low, but it's so slow and steady. So it's reliable. I know it's always gonna, it's gonna increase. So it's just there as a placeholder until I decide further. I've kind of decided to just keep it in there. I've been buying consistently since November. I bought £47.50 in November, £15 again in November, £25 in December, and £17.22 in December. And I also got a dividend of 20 pence from it. In the UK, we have a £2,000 dividend allowance, so I'm not really too concerned with dividends. I doubt I'll be making £2,000 a year, but who knows, um, in dividends right now. So I'm not really too fussed about it um, investing in anything that gives me dividends. The next ETF that I'm invested in, which is one of my favourites, um, favourite ETFs in general of all time, is the iShares Global Clean Energy ETF. And this one is an interesting one. I can't remember how I stumbled upon this. I think I was looking at alternatives. I got a free share at one point and the f it was the first one I'd ever got and it was Shell. Quite, I'd say, environmentally friendly. I'm, I'm aware of everything going on in the world and in my head I was like, I'll hold it for now, but then at some point I will sell it. Um, so I just held on to it and then eventually I sold it. In my head, I was thinking I want to trade it off. So I want to sell it and I want to put that money into um, a clean energy ETF. And this is one of the clean energy ETFs. It follows the 30 largest renewable energy companies. It's a great ETF. Honestly, this ETF has been my favourite since since I started investing outside of Vanguard, this has been my favorite. But I'm gonna tell you a bit of a cautionary tale about it. So let's look at how much I have invested first. As you can see, this is the bulk of my portfolio. The current value is 281 pounds and eight pence, and I am up 24.09% and up 54 pounds, 56 pence. And that is crazy. It was actually a lot more before, a couple of weeks ago. And then, cautionary tale guys, let's go through to the history actually. So I've been buying consistently every month since August, but in January, I did something. So what happened was, I had been investing in um, the Global Clean Energy ETF, and I loved it, it was going up, it was on a crazy soar. So I invested some money in it, and everything was fine. I was up 40% about two weeks ago, and then it just kept going up and up and up, and I was like, holy crap, this is this is getting crazy. I gotta, I gotta get in now before it gets higher, and I was waiting for it to go down, but then it kept going up. <laughs> I was like, is it ever gonna stop? And I invested, I think, 50 pounds in it, and literally the next day, 
oh my god it come it dropped i was up 40 percent. i invested 50 pounds at like the peak and it just dropped and it has not been dropping it's still it's been going back up but still considering it dropped quite a substantial amount which brought my returns down quite a lot the cautionary tale here is just invest consistently which is it's like in my eyes i was like oh i'm not gonna be one of those people who who sells low and buys high and this kind of scared me because the fact that i bought high made me like think crap abs what are you doing with your life <laughs> like you know better than this and you do know better than this but because you can't predict the future we don't know what's going to happen in three days four days five days one month one year like you don't know what's going to happen that's the risk that you're taking and i think after reading rich dad poor dad i think it just gave me some like i was like oh i have to invest now <laughs> I was like, I need to invest right now. Risk is worth taking. Put all my money in global clean energy. No, don't do that. That was bad. But yeah, so it did go down, but it is coming back up. But I haven't lost any money because I'm not planning to sell this. I'm going to have it for probably five years. I'm thinking at least five years before I start thinking about anything else. I just wanted to let you know that that was not the best move because I should have just waited to February before I invested again. There was no reason for me to invest like a week after I already invested. Like it's once a month, stick to the once a month and then next month invest again. Because by next month it would have come back down, it would have been at its normal flow and it's steady increase rather than that crazy like that was the lesson I learned from that and it's still my favourite ETF. I love it. I am all about ways to help the planet and I know people like there's like people who are like super for the clean energy and people who are like super for oil and they're like super for gas and they're just like yeah oil is gonna do great and that's fine and that's cool but I'm really trying to um practice not value-based investing which is something different but values based investing so investing based on the things I believe in the things that I want to support the companies I love and I feel like if I invest that way it's gonna hurt me less when there's volatility because I know that I'm investing in this company because I believe in this company and in the long run I think they're gonna do great and in the long run I want to support them. So that's how I'm trying to come at investing right now. So I've invested £331.24 my return is £57.87 and I am up 17.47% overall and my total portfolio is worth 389 pounds and 11 pence so i am pretty pleased with that that is my portfolio update that is my etf portfolio i only have two etfs in it i will start building out probably but right now i'm just liking it the way it is keeping it super simple um clean and the global clean energy etf is doing really great no reason to change that are you guys invested with trading 212 if you'd like to see my free trade portfolio uh let me know down below feel free to check out some of my other videos if you have a minute and you would like to support my channel i will see you guys in my next video until then bye